Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to learn about J unit annotations. Now, whenever we are writing any J unit test case, we are writing plenty of methods. Each method is having one annotation and based on those annotations, the method will be executed runtime and the order will be decided based on annotations. So, let's see what are the annotations in J unit. So, these are the annotations in J unit which you will give prior to the method definition. So, the very first annotation is at the rate before class. Now, this annotation is used to initialize any object that you are going to use in your test case or your running test is. So, whenever you are initializing any object in the before class method, it will be initialized or it will be invoked only once. So, this method is executed only once. After that, the second annotation is at the rate before. Now, whenever you want to initialize any object, for the time the method is being used, the before annotation will be used. It means if you are having five test cases, the before method will be called before the each test cases for five times. So, it will be invoked every time the test case is being executed. It will be invoked for every test case. Now, the third annotation is test. So, whatever you want to test or whatever you want to execute to verify whether your product is working properly or not, at the rate test annotation will be used. So, whatever you want to test that code will be de defined in the method with the annotation at the rate test. Then after whatever you have been initialized in at the rate before method that initialization should be released or that objects should be released in after class method. So, annotation with after at the rate after will be executed every time after each test case. So, whatever you have initialized in before annotation that should be released in after annotation. After that the next annotation is at the rate after class. Whatever you have initialized in before class annotation method, those objects you should release in at the rate after class annotation methods. So, this again will be executed once, but it will be executed after every test has been executed. So, again it will be executed once only. Now, you might have doubt that when to use before and before class object. Suppose, we are taking one example of launching one website. I want to test one website in only Firefox browser. So, I want to derive five test cases for only Firefox driver. So, my driver is only one and my test case is five. So, I need only before class method. I should invoke the driver object in only before class method as I need only one driver that is of Firefox web browser driver. But suppose, for different test cases, I want to invoke different different browser, then I need to type it in before method. So, these are the annotation and the last one is ignore annotation. Whatever test case you do not want to execute for the current test suit execution, for that at the rate ignore annotation will be used. So, these are the annotations and now we will see it practically that how actually it is going to be executed. So, let us see how different methods with different annotations are being executed in J unit. To count that how many times the particular method with particular ex annotation is executed, I have taken four count variables. This is the count for before class method annotation. This is the count for the method with the annotation after class. This is the count variable for before method annotation and this is the count variable for the method with annotation of after class. Here we are having one 
annotation method with before so the method name is setup and every time the method is being executed i have incremented the count to the plus 1 so every time this method will be executed the count variable of this method will be incremented by 1 same for before class annotation method same for after class annotation method and after annotation method i have incremented the respective count variables now we are having five test cases so i am having five test methods with annotation at the red test that is test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 and test 5 and we will be having some sample code and test case execution in this methods so this five methods will be executed in this j unit test case execution when we will be executing the test case or when will we be executing this file this before method will be executed before each test so it should be executed for five times so that we will check whether it is being executed for five times or not and before class will be method will be executing very first time and it will be executed only once so this count will always be one it will never be executed twice so the method with annotation before class will be executed at the beginning of your program and it will be executed only once the after method it means the method tear down method with the annotation at the red after it will be executed every time the test case is being executed so for every method this method after method will be executed for five times so it will this count will be for five times and after class method this method will be executed at the last or at the end of the program only once so let us run this program you can the program belongs to this folder so just right click to this file <laughs> click on run as and select j unit test when you click on this you will be having progress bar of test case executions and you will be having this output on console so this progress bar indicates that your test case has been run successfully and all test cases means we are having five test cases so five test cases has been passed you can also see the timings of the test cases please keep in mind when you are running j unit it may happen that the test case can be run randomly it means they don't run in order which you have written they can run in random order so these are the test cases that has been executed and this right mark indicates that the particular test case has been passed now let us see the console for the output as i said the before class method will be executed only once the after class method will be executed again only once but before and after method will be executed every time of the test case execution so it is going to be executed every time before method and after method so again test 2 before method is executing before the test case and after method is being executed after the test case same for test 3 test 4 and test 5 so the methods with annotation at the red before and at the red after will be executed with each and every test while before class annotation method and method with annotation after class will be executed only once throughout the test case execution thank you